Hello and welcome back to Simplified where we take complex topics and break them down into simple bits of information for you to consume. Today, we're simplifying skateboard platforms. First, let's look at a traditional vehicle platform. Now, platforms are one of the biggest investments for a manufacturer, which is why they last for so long and why they are shared across models and in some cases, they are also shared across brands. A platform has mounting points for the suspension, the engine and the transmission and it also has attachment points for stuff like the steering wheel, the pedals and even space for the fuel tank. All of that is factored into a platform. Some modern platforms are scalable to accommodate different body styles. Then come the skateboard platforms. These are made especially for electric vehicles. They are flat with the battery maximizing most of the central area. The battery is also usually a stressed member, so it does increase the torsional rigidity and the strength of the platform. And then you have the motors. Depending on the vehicle, you can put the motors low and push them out towards the wheels or you can also put them to the very front or the very back to maximize interior space. And then finally, you have the attachment points for the suspension and the mounting points for the body. Since the batteries are in the middle, you will notice that a lot of EVs like the Kia EV6 and the Volkswagen ID4 have very long wheelbases and very short overhangs to maximize space for the battery. The biggest advantage of a skateboard platform is modularity. While some modern scalable platforms can be altered a little bit to suit different body styles, skateboard platforms, they can be adjusted to accommodate vehicles of different segments altogether. One platform can host rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, all wheel drive powertrains. You can have a single motor, a dual motor setup, or even four motors, one for each wheel. This essentially allows for economies of scale for one of the most expensive components of a vehicle. Yes, the skateboard platform simplifies things for the automaker, but it does have advantages for you as well. Number one is space. You'll notice that even a small looking EV based on a skateboard platform will have plenty of room inside. And with all the powertrain stuff cleverly packaged, there are no transmission humps. Instead, EVs based on skateboard platforms tend to have clever storage spaces because there's no mechanical linkages all around. And with more space for batteries in the center, you get more range and those batteries are placed low down, so that's better center of gravity. Skateboard platforms are getting more popular than ever. Hyundai Motor Group's eGMP, Volkswagen Group's MEB, Mahindra's Inglow EV, and even Tata Motors' Gen 3 architecture will be a skateboard platform. Cars based on these can sometimes be called born electric vehicles, which is an easy way to say that these are electric vehicles made from the ground up with the advantages of a skateboard platform. More space, clever use of that space, and more range. That's it for this episode of Simplified. I'm your host, Karan. Thank you for watching. And if you have any more topics that you'd like us to cover on Simplified, drop it in the comments below.